Well, we've just had Winston Peters tell you that perhaps a legal injunction against the Speaker of the House is possible, given in particular the confusion and the mystery surrounding the circumstances of former Minister Outside Cabinet in Labour, Mecca Faiteri's defection, resignation from the party, from Labour, uh, and from the party, and her public statements that she had resigned and was moving to join the Māori Party. Everyone thought that meant she would have to leave Parliament. The Speaker said he had a letter. Then he said what the letter meant, well, wasn't clear. Maybe the letter went back and John Tamahiri gave him another letter. Um, and maybe the whole thing was a have, a crock and a sham. And he won't release the letter because that's just, that's like between him or, or Mika Faiteri and him as God. It's like so privileged. Well, can we afford that sort of preciousness when it is literally the proportionality of parliament and democracy at um, at stake here. Winston Peters says no. And someone else who is asking serious questions about this and indeed the whole atmosphere in which Mika Faiteri has quit and also Elizabeth Carey Carey has quit the Green, uh, Greens is a former Labour cabinet minister, um, also a uh, renowned historian uh, and educated a educator and uh, regular contributor um, to an outfit called Bassett, uh, Bassett Brashide. And indeed, uh, we take this stuff and we run it on the platform. Michael Bassett, Dr. Michael Bassett joins us uh, on the line now. Uh, Michael, good morning. Welcome to you. Morning, Sean. How are you? Very well, thanks. Well, this is all quite well, curious, isn't it, what's going on? Well, yes. Uh, of course, you've got to remember that it's election year and we're only a few months away from things and the polls are uh, um, pretty even Stevens uh, at present. Why? I'm not at all clear. I mean, we've got the most incompetent government of my lifetime, but uh, still to have the polls even Stevens uh, means that uh, uh, one or other of the major parties and some of the minor ones that want to be kingmakers or queenmakers are going to uh, stir around and uh, come up with uh, some silly ideas. Uh, so you, that's your first problem that you've got to deal with. And uh, the second one is that there seems to be a more complicated uh, scene uh, involved with the Mecca Faitiri uh, thing. There's some kind of personal factor uh, involved here, uh, which uh, we're not being um, uh, really given the full story about. But uh, I think it will, will come out over the days. There is the suggestion she was peeved at being sort of demoted. She saw her career arc in the Labour Party having peaked and she was subject or vulnerable to, I <coughs> guess, some, some, the silver tongue of Mr Tamahiri. Well, yes, that's that's possible and probable, but um, uh, she's uh, clearly uh, lucky to have still been a minister outside of uh, cabinet. Uh, I mean, that fetches a pretty high salary, and um, you've got to uh, marvel that uh, she thought that uh, she really was uh, cabinet material. I mean, she'd have been. Uh, chairman of a select committee in the uh, days when I was in Parliament, uh, uh, but uh, the, the current Labour Parliament is so weak that um, you just uh, can get uh, surprisingly far with surprisingly little talent. All right. Is what has gone on with Mecca Faiteri and with Elizabeth Kerry Kerry, to your mind, legal? Well, yes, it, I, I, I don't think there's any uh, particular uh, problem with uh, that. Uh, the business over whether or not um, Faitiri should uh, have been booted out of Parliament is a highly technical one, and uh, I suspect that the explanation given yesterday by uh, the Speaker well, unless um, uh, there's something that's being hidden from us and uh, the inference um, <laughs> that some are drawing, drawing is that there is, 
uh, then uh, what the speaker's saying would appear to be right, that she's entitled to stay. And um, we'll just have to see whether or not uh, he's forced to divvy up 